Amanda, thank you. Animal shelters in Rhode Island pushed to the limit. Many are full or over capacity, and some are also dealing with staffing shortages, making the issue even worse. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish takes us inside two local shelters and has the details on how you can help. Those we spoke with say it's not just their facilities that are packed full of animals looking for new homes. Shelters are struggling all across the state, and there are a few reasons why. <laughs> At the East Greenwich Animal Protection League, heart of Rhode Island, the cages are full. We don't have any space left to put to put anyone. Usually, Tammy Gallo says they aim to have about 30 animals. Right now, they have 50. Every um, day, we're getting requests for four or five people to surrender their animals, dogs and cats. Um, we just got an adorable three-year-old Shih Tzu in about 10 minutes ago. A similar story 40 minutes away at the Potter League. We're at capacity in terms of uh, cats and dogs. We have a few empty kennels today because of adoptions, but those will be full tomorrow. Both say the issue is driven in part by COVID. During the pandemic, uh, everybody was home and wanting to have a pet, right? And uh, so you had years worth of adoptions happening in a very short period of time, but yet the services needed to support those adoptions like low cost spay and neuter programs waned. As a result, animals are having litters and they have nowhere to go but the shelter. <laughs> On top of that, Gallo says adoptions have been slow for about a year. So I don't know if it's the economy, I don't know if it's lack of being able to get vet care. And she says they're also dealing with a staffing shortage. But there are ways you can help by volunteering at a shelter or fostering an animal short term to get them out of the shelter for a while. And of course, if you're able to, adopt. I can guarantee you that they, they actually know that they've been rescued and they love you for the rest of their lives. Another way you can help is by donating money to your local shelter so they can keep supporting the animals they have under their care. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.